In this video, I will show you how to import an SPSS file into R using the Haven package. I will show you two ways to do this. Downloading the file directly from the Open Science Framework or any website, and also by downloading the file to your computer and importing it from there. Step one is to install and load the Haven package. In the last video, I explained the code that does this, so I'll just press play on that code chunk now. Next, we need another code chunk in which we'll type the code that calls the read underscore SAV function from the Haven package. And I'll do that by pressing insert R, and now I have my new chunk of code. And we're going to save the SPSS file in a variable called dataset. The dataset's going to be assigned the value of the read underscore SAV function. And now all we have to do is tell the read underscore SAV function where to find the file. If you are sharing your data via the Open Science Framework, then this is easy to do. Find the file in OSF. I've already got an example dataset pulled up. And once you've found your file, right click the download button and click copy link. Now return to RStudio and paste the link into the read underscore SAV function. Press play and your file will download. You can tell it's working because we have that green bar. And once that green bar goes away, our file is now loaded into the dataset variable. Now let's try it a different way. The other way to import an SPSS file is to download it and then save it in the same folder or directory that you have your R notebook. So go back to OSF in this particular example, press download, it'll save to your downloads folder, and then I'm going to move it from my downloads folder to the same directory or folder where I've saved my R notebook. Now in this particular case, I happen to have saved my R notebook in this folder right here, and I've actually um, renamed the dataset to example dataset, so it should be easy for me to type into this R notebook. Um, so I'm going to erase the address and I'm going to write example, sorry, I'm going to write example dataset. Of course, at this point, you may be wondering if the file really downloaded. To take a look at your file, just like you would in SPSS or Excel, Type the view command. So I'm going to create a new code chunk for this view command. I'm going to type capital V and then I E W and then just the name of the variable that stores our file. I'm going to press play on that and a new screen pops up that shows you the contents of your data file. So you can see every column by scrolling left and right. And you can see every participant by scrolling down. So this data set has 50 participants. And this is a great way to confirm that you've downloaded the complete file. Just scroll all the way to the bottom. You can also do a quick scan for any weirdness in your file. So for example, um, are there a lot of NAs? You know, what's going on? Why did, you know, four people in a row um, not answer this question? Um, or um, maybe a very common thing to find would be that uh, you might have a lot of 99s here. And so you would know, oh, um, 
you know, I've used a, um, an experiment software that saves non-responses as 99. And so then I would know I need to change those 99 so I don't include them in, my, in the variables that I create. Now the next video will show you how to do how to handle any sort of weirdness in your data set like that um, and also how to remove um, um, say if you happen to have included any practice um, trials in the data set.